Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the simple online process of transferring e-payments from DBS bank account to beneficiaries using Tally Prime and authorizing it on the bank portal. Let us look at the process of making e-payments in Tally Prime from your DBS bank account in four simple steps. First, create a bank ledger. Press Alt G. Select Create Master, press Enter, select Ledger and press Enter. On the ledger creation screen, enter the name of the ledger. Let us name it as DBS Bank. Select Bank Accounts. Now, enter Bank Account Details. By default, Tally Prime will take the active company's name as the account holder's name. You can change it if needed. Enter account number and IFS code. Enter SWIFT code if applicable. In the bank name, select DBS India. Once you select the bank, you can see the option Enable e-payments under Bank Configuration. Enter the branch name. Now, set Enable e-payments to Yes. An information screen appears which says that you need to contact your bank relationship manager in order to enable e-payments facility in Tally Prime. To view the contact details of the banks in Tally Help, click Yes or click No to proceed and enable Set or Alter e-payments configuration. The e-payment configuration for DBS India screen appears. Export or upload payment instructions on voucher creation is set to no. If you want to send the payment at the time of voucher creation, then set it to yes. Ignore transactions with information mismatch in report is also set to no. Setting it to No will move the transactions to the Transactions with Information Mismatch with Master section in the ePayments report if bank details entered during the voucher creation do not match the one provided in the bank details of the party ledger. Under Folder Path for Payment Instructions, the default path has been specified. However, you may change the folder path as per your preference. Press Enter. Press Ctrl A to save the bank ledger. Now, let us create a ledger for the party to which the payment has to be made. Step 2. Create a party ledger. Enter name and select sundry creditors. Set Provide Bank Details to Yes, press Enter and you will get the bank details for Party screen. In the transaction type, select eFund Transfer and press Enter. Now enter the party's bank account number and IFS code. Press Enter. Then select the bank in which the party has account from the list of the banks. Press Enter. Press Ctrl A to save the party ledger. Now you can record payments. Step 3. Record a payment voucher. Press Alt G. Create voucher. Press F5 for payment voucher. Under account, choose the DBS bank ledger that was created. In the party, select the ledger created for the party. Enter the amount and bill reference as applicable and press Enter. Now the bank allocation screen appears with the bank details provided in the party ledger. Press Enter. Enter the narration and save the voucher. Now, let us see how to process an e-payment from your DBS bank account to the party. Step 4. Make an e-payment from your DBS bank account to the party. 
to send the transactions to the bank seamlessly using Tally Prime's e-payment facility, you need to log into the company using Tally.net ID, which is registered with DBS Bank. Load the company with admin username and password. Then press Alt K, Users and Passwords, press Enter. Under User Roles, select Tally.net Owner or Tally.net User as applicable. Enter the username which should be the Tally.net ID registered with DPS Bank. Press Ctrl A to save. Now, load the company with the same Tally.net ID. Press Alt K. Change user. Enter Tally.net ID and its password and press Enter. Open ePayments report. Press Alt G. Type and select ePayments and press Enter. The transactions with complete information will be in the Ready for Sending to Bank section. If there are transactions in which account details like account number and IFS code of the party are not entered, then they will appear in the Transactions with Incomplete Information section. And if the bank account details like account number and IFS code of the party in the transaction do not match the ones provided in the party ledger, then the transaction will appear in the transactions with information mismatch with master section. Drill down on any of these sections. For example, let us drill down on transactions with incomplete information. You can see the error. Drill down further and you can correct it by entering information here or pressing Alt S to copy from master. Press Ctrl A and then press A to accept. Once you do it, the transaction will reflect in the Ready for Sending to Bank section. You can see that the Send to Bank option in the right button bar is enabled when the cursor is on the Ready for Sending to Bank section. If you want to send all the transactions to the bank, then click Send to Bank. However, you can also select transactions that you want to send to bank. Drill down on Ready for Sending to Bank and you can see the transactions here. You can select one or more transactions for Sending to Bank. For instance, let us select three transactions. Now, click Send to Bank. Uploading Payment Instructions screen will appear. Click Send. Tally Prime will display an information screen that notifies you that the payment instructions for the transactions have been uploaded and you can authorize it once it is updated on the bank portal. Press any key to continue. Now the transactions have moved to the Transactions Sent to Bank Unreconciled section as you can see. Drill down and you can view the status of the transaction as submitted. Click Update Status to get the latest status of the payments sent to the bank. As you can see, the updated status of transactions is now Authorization Pending. Now, in order to authorize the transactions on the bank portal, click Authorize on Portal and you will be redirected to DBS Ideal login page. However, you may log in on the DBS Ideal portal using any browser. Alternatively, you can also use your DBS Ideal mobile app in order to approve the transactions on the go. To authorize e-payments, enter the required details on the DBS Ideal login page Enter the security access code generated by using your DBS Ideal mobile app. This will take you to the dashboard where you can view the balance funds. Click Approval on the top menu. Select the transactions to be approved and click Approve. Enter the security code or response received in your mobile app and click Approve 
again to proceed. Once you approve on the DBS Ideal Portal, you can see the status of the transactions in ePayments report under Transactions sent to bank unreconciled in TallyPrime. Click Update status and it will change to Authorized. After the successful processing of the transactions at the bank, the status updates to Processed after you click Update status. Therefore, Tally Prime will automatically update the bank transaction reference under the instrument number field in the ePayments report. Similarly, the bank transaction reference can be viewed in respective payment vouchers. The parties to which the payments have been made will also receive a transaction advice through email along with the payment details from the bank. Let us have a quick relook at the steps to send e-payments from DBS Bank to a party using TallyPrime. Make a bank ledger with DBS India as the bank. Make a party ledger and enter bank account details of the party you want to make the payment to. Record a payment voucher. Open ePayments report. Drill down on the ready for sending to bank section. Select the transactions and send to bank. You can then authorize the transactions on the portal and your transactions will be processed by the bank. As you saw, Tally Prime provides you with a simple and secure process of making ePayments to your beneficiaries from your DBS bank account and the ePayments report gets updated at different stages of the transactions for your reference. For more information, visit help.tallysolutions.com.